everybody. I'm USA Today, the selling author, Hilde McQueen. And I am planning for next week in my passion planner, which is my author planner. I have other videos where I show you what all I have in here as far as my writing and other things. So I keep all kinds of information in this planner. But today I'm just going to do a plan for next week. And what I'm going to do is usually I write in this planner. I don't use scripts, but just for the to make sure that I get time. Um, this video doesn't last too long is what I'm trying to say. We're going to let me try to straighten this out. I feel like they're shadowing because I'm using a ring light since the it's I kind of use natural light normally, but the weather has been so gloomy. But so hopefully it's not too shadowy and distracting so next week is the 22nd through the 28th and i'm gonna just go through what i normally would write and put down for my plans now for my writing i like to highlight that every day i write from 10 till 2 so i am going to highlight the 10 o'clock block that didn't turn out that great. <laughs> Maybe I'll do it this way. Let's see. Maybe I don't need the ruler. I don't know. Can you see what I'm doing? I think it's easier for me to turn it this way. It's kind of crooked. Oh, not Saturday. Okay. And then another thing that I do every day, I am going to highlight Let's see, how do I want to do it? I'm trying to see how I did it last week. I need another color. Let's see, do I have any? I'm gonna use um, whatever I can reach. <laughs> this is like a teal blue, and I am going to use that. Oh, it's got ink on it. Oh, see, this is dangerous because I can end up getting it all over my planner. Oh carefully put the top back on this and not use it until I can um, clean it off. I have to go into my pencil case and see what happened there. But when I washed my hands, you can see there's still a little bit of ink there. Um, there was like a lot of black in the sink, so I'm glad that I didn't just rely on the antibacterial. All right, um, yes. So then every day I have a focus, which I'm gonna highlight in pink. I love the combination of pink and green. It's like my favorite. Pale pink and, and like an ash green. I don't like like bright pink and bright green, but when you use pastels, it looks good. Okay, let's make sure this is on the screen. All right, so first things first next week i do have to get finish my novella that i'm currently working on which is a highland wallflower so i am going to put that right at the 10 o'clock mark because i work from 10 normally i try to get my work count done by two o'clock then on what uh, thursdays is, are different but i'm still going to put it at the same time block and I'll explain that in a minute and oh if I don't finish this book or I don't finish my word count of 10,000 then I have to write on Saturday so and this week actually I am a little bit behind I am I didn't write yesterday for whatever reason so uh all right, so that's the first thing I I'm, I'm always put down what my word count is. Over here, I usually put down what my things that I want to get sometime in the week, but I don't have a specific day. I can put that there. So my one thing that I have to, that I want to concentrate on this week is to finish the current novella that I'm working on. Should I put it there? Yeah, I think I'm going to put it up here. That's my my focus for the week um then every day i do the same thing and i usually write it in i know it's repetitive but every day i 
Oh, should I put it here? Here, what was I gonna put here? Oh, yeah, I'm gonna put this. Uh, I should have put this a little lower. I'm gonna just put put it a little higher this time. That's okay. So every day I do my Facebook post of the day, which is a generic greeting. If you want to see what I do, just follow me on Facebook. I usually put a coffee cup and the one corner of my desk. I set up a little vignette and it changes every, I change it like once a week to have like a picture, some little greenery and whatever. And I set my coffee cup in front of it. I'll insert a post, a picture so you know what I'm talking about. So every morning I say good morning and some people are like, wow, that's kind of a waste of time. I'm like, maybe, but I have people that look for it. I have had comments of people saying, I haven't seen that cup before. I used this cup twice, two days in a row or, um, you know, and because I do it every day, then some people always see my post, which means that they uh, can see my other posts, which would be my um, promo posts. So that's why I do it. And I also enjoy doing it. I'm a creature of habit. Like I have repeated, I don't know how many times I just pushed this a little bit. And so doing that every day makes, makes me go into Facebook on a daily basis. So, all right. And then, so every day I do my Facebook posts. I check my email and my sales stats prior to my second cup of tea, which is when I sit down and do my writing. I normally sit at my desk around nine and so by 10 o'clock i'm ready to start writing on mondays let's pull these uh mondays and uh, wednesdays and fridays i post in reader groups i make graphics on usually on sunday this was supposed to go on the pink but i kind of did it wrong so I'm gonna just put it down here below the pink line so I um, do graphics I ask uh, interactive questions if you need ideas about what kind of interactive questions to use there's a couple of programs to I can't remember the name but there's several ones that have prompts you can also go to like um, Pinterest or just Google prompts for interaction on social media which you will find prompts. I usually ask things about, I think my last dinner, like what is the first thing you do in the morning? What do you drink, coffee or tea? Or, you know, or do you prefer heroes who are, have a beard? You know, just different silly questions to just promote interaction and, um, and work, you know, work ideas that would work to get readers to interact. Um, and then for two times a week, I concentrate on promo, promoting whatever book I'm concentrating on that month. This month it's Eric and Highland Wallflower. And did I put it on here? Let's see. Oh, A Rogue to Cherish is the book I'm supposed to. This is my monthly, so I'm looking to see what I'm supposed to be concentrating on. And this is the week that I'm currently planning here. So I can open it to this page and see like an overview. But if I go to this here, I can see a daily view. Um, and I use a vertical because that helps me. I'm training my eye to look downward. Some people prefer to have horizontal for each day of the week, but I, I do vertical. All right, so promo is when I go, when I post on my personal page and my profile page, like today I did uh, Highland Wallflower, Wallflower, which is up for pre-order. I just put a picture of the cover and a part of the blurb and just um, the tagline and the Amazon link. That's all I did, because um, I was kind of not having a creative moment. <laughs> uh, I didn't want to use the same, because I just promoted on, today's Thursday when I'm filming this, but I had just promoted um, 
I wrote to Cherish on Tuesday and then sometime before I had just promoted Eric again. I thought, let me use do something different. So I promoted a book that's up for pre-order. All right. So every day I also am starting to post on TikTok just a simple page um, flip through and I am pre-filming those and uploading them. But uh, this is just gonna be a reminder to upload my book talk video. I'm gonna, and again, I do this every day except for Saturday and Sunday. I will talk about that in a minute. So this is a reminder to do my book talk. And I'm just learning TikTok, so <laughs> I can't give you much pointers on that. I really, I have no idea what I'm doing on it. I don't, one thing I do know is that I only follow historical romance post on TikTok. I only like those people who talk about books and historical romance. And I do have like a couple of um, influencers that do other romance, but for the most part, I try to stick with just liking and looking at anything to do with historical romance. And so that's all that's in my feed. And you just go through it, you know, a few minutes a day and um, you can pre record a couple of videos that are very simple and I just put them up. So that's all I do right now. I'm just still learning it. So do not <laughs> ask me about TikTok. All right. Now, um, I also, where is it? On Thursday, on Wednesdays at 3 p.m. Eastern. Let me highlight that. I have my accountability Zoom meeting. Oh, good Lord. So let's put that there. Okay. Wednesdays is a short, short work day for me because I usually have a lunch, a lunch, um, thing that I do I either every other Thursday I meet with church a church group and then um and the other Thursday I meet my uh, my friends for lunch so usually it's a short day except for if I'm on deadline like today I went to lunch and came straight back but I'm hoping I am caught up with my word count so that I can do my usual thing on Thursdays which is run errands in the afternoon so there's that. And then um, I have a few things that I got to do next week. I have to put together my swag for Coastal Magic Convention. If you want to meet me in person and some other great authors, look into Coastal Magic. You can just go to coastalmagic.com, I think. Google it. I'll, I'll try to remember to put the link down below, but it's a really good conference, not conference, con reader, author, convention in Daytona, Florida in February. Then I have to check my ads this week. I was going to put it up here, but I think I'm going to put it down here. Check my ad spend. Again, don't ask me about, <laughs> about any of this. Uh, how to do ads and all that. Yeah, I'm not doing that great on it. And then for, I gotta make some more graphics for my promo days. And I was gonna say update my author planner, but I'm kinda, I do need to add, update some stuff on the back because I have some more. I'm coming up with the next series. So that's gonna be something that I'm gonna write up and it'll be in the back of this planner. Once I do it, I will share that with you. Okay, what else? Um, and then I should be getting the proofs to the bear, but uh, which is my next book in the Clan Ross of Sky book. So I'm just gonna be checking to see if I got them. And then I just check off whatever I do over here. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so that is my to-dos for uh, next week. And also I need to go into the cross promo group now. Let's put that on Tuesday. I gotta make sure that I help cross promote 
authors that are in my cross promotion group and that way when it's my turn that I need cross promotion then they will be happy to do it for me the only thing that I'm putting on the weekend can you see the weekend the only thing I'm putting on the weekend is to film a YouTube video and that is probably going to be around two o'clock because I go to church in the morning go to lunch and then um and then I am free to do whatever I want for the rest of the day. So Sunday, I definitely do not work. But Saturday, if I did not do my word count, then I have to write on Saturday, which I don't think I have anything planned this day. Oh, you know what? I do. I'm not going to be home this day. So I damn well better have my stuff done. I'm not going to be home from 10 till 5 or 10 till 6. I have a planning event from 10 till 6, which is here. Okay. So, yeah, I better get my writing done, get my book, finish the book on this day. All right, let's see. Hopefully you can see it all. So that is how I plan my week before I go into uh, Monday. And it just kind of gives me a very clean, very um, kind of sterile look at the week. I know there are other things going on, like I might have laundry some days, I might have, be expecting, you know, somebody to stop by, a housekeeper, or I might have um, a coffee date with a friend. But if I do anything like that, I always plan it after two o'clock, unless it's, you know, Wednesday. So I try to plan things with people after two o'clock, except for Thursday, then I did, can plan earlier, but I try to never plan anything before two o'clock because I need to get my word count done. And 10, 11, 12, one, two, that's four hours of solid work between writing. I get this stuff done in the morning at nine, then, then I start writing till two. In between writing, when I take a little bit of a break, I might do a book talk up uh tiktok i'm sorry a tiktok upload or something um and this stuff here which is oh that's my hair if i'm doing any of this stuff it's um as soon as i get my word count done which sometimes it's usually right by one that gives me an hour to get this done if not then from uh after i finish my word count then i get whatever else i need to get done and usually or leave my office by four, try to leave my office around four o'clock to get stuff done around the house. So yeah, this is pretty much what my weeks look like. I, it's not something that I can post every week for you guys because every week is pretty much the same. I will be doing a different one for you in February. Yeah, because I'm going to a the Coastal Match Magic and I will put down what all I have going on in here so that you guys can kind of get an idea of what I do when I go to those events. Um, going on a writing retreat as well so maybe I can do a video for those for you but if you're interested in anything more like this let me know and perhaps I can go into detail of explaining everything. So just a quick review. In the mornings I come get my first cup of tea and I check take a picture of my teacup and put it on a Facebook post. I then check my email, make any notes I need to, and I put the notes down here. Do my sales stats. I don't write my numbers in here because I know that I was going to be sharing this planner with you guys, but normally my daily sales would go in here, and I also check my pre-orders numbers, and that goes in here. I could be sharing that, but I'll add it in here later. Then I do whether it's promotion or readers groups. If I'm going to readers groups and I go to my graphics, I have the verbiage already and I share whatever graphic I'm gonna do. And then if I'm doing promo, again, I should have a graphic for whatever book I am promoting as a tagline and the link and whatever hashtags. And then I start writing at 10 o'clock, get my word count. I usually write in 1000 word increments about 30 minutes each and once I get to 2,000 words then I usually stop unless I'm on a roll. Sometimes I go a little bit longer and do one more um, sprint to get my ideas out of my head 
then I will in between that in between the 30 minute sprints is when I do um, TikTok uploads I um, go to social media and check things and I keep track of my emails I might take an Instagram break that kind of stuff I do post an Instagram did I post a let me put that on here because I forgot to say Instagram I'm glad I mentioned it. So I try to go to Instagram like at least three times a week. So I'm going to put that on the same day as I do reader groups. Um, I almost forgot about Instagram. So let's put that here. I'm glad I remembered. Oh, no, no, no. I don't go to Instagram every day. Let's put you here. And then when I'm done with, um, you know, like I said, in between writing sprints is when I'll do Instagram and um, any other like TikTok or stuff like that. So that that is done. And then um, I almost forgot also, this says check ads, which I do once a week, once or twice a week. I just go in there to make sure what my, oh, I already have that on here. No, nope, never mind. I don't know why I have two of those. Okay. So then when i'm done with my word count then i have the afternoon off and that's when i try to go into um book bob sometimes to see you know double check and see if i can um i'm gonna put that over here just a reminder to go to book bob uh, we have followers there and we can recommend books there that kind of stuff i do that in the afternoon between two and four i get that kind of stuff done on wednesdays uh after i'm done with my word counts usually it's time to prepare for my zoom meeting and i go get myself a fresh drink usually just water sparkling water something like that on thursdays i am done early because i meet um for lunch at noon so that gives me uh two hours to get my word count done if it's not done like today it wasn't done so i had to come home and finish getting my word count so and i was getting sleepy doing my word count so i decided to stop and film this and now i'm gonna go back i have like 500 more words to go so that should be no problem i film usually um if not thursdays because i have, ex have extra time like today then i usually film on sundays but sometimes i'll film both days so Filming is just something that I do when I get a free spare moment. My camera is all usually just set up so I can just sit down and film. So yeah, hope that this helps you guys and gives you some ideas. Have a wonderful day and don't forget to like and subscribe and go to my Amazon page to check out all my books. It gives you an idea of what's going on in my life as far as my books. Right now, I am about to release the wolf which is the first book of the clan ross of sky talk to you guys soon bye